6, 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10, 11, 12, 13 Hi, <clears throat> hello, we, uh, we're Born Against from uh, New Jersey. This is a song we wrote called Shroud.
have some more vocals in the monitors, please? Thank you. Uh, more vocals and the monitors. Done. This is a song we wrote about our friend, Jesus. And it got us banned by the American censors in the US. So they can't play a record anywhere in the US. <laughs> This is about our friend, the shit sandwich. Not unlike our friend, Jesus.
great audience tonight. Charles, he's in the band uh, Rorschach, also from New Jersey. He got cancer uh, around two years ago. Very bad. Uh, he had to get chemotherapy. So bad that he would come home from the hospital after spending the day there, walk up a flight of stairs, and sleep for 20 hours. He came close to being dead. The reason he got cancer is most likely because other people in his family smoke cigarettes. They didn't care too much before he got cancer. Now he talks about it to other people and they say things like, shut up you pussy, or live your own fucking life. They don't understand he is trying to live his own fucking life. One out of every four people in this room will die of cancer. They already have it in their bodies right now at this show. They have the cancer. They just don't know it yet. It takes a long time for doctors to spot it. Most of those people, I would suspect, have gotten the cancer from being in large, smoke-filled rooms like this one. Most of you, I don't think, really care, and that's expected. That's what this song's about. Mr. Price, my English teacher, so we have to, we have to learn English too. Um, he was my only friend in the school. Most of the other people didn't like the fact that I didn't know how to play football or basketball, didn't know how to swim, didn't know how to play hockey when it was cold, didn't know how to play baseball when it was warm, didn't talk about girls, sat by myself in the cafeteria. 
I got shit on a lot. I felt very stupid, like I was the one who was wrong and that everyone else was right. One day, I was sitting in the office of Mr. Price, who was my English teacher and my only friend, and I said, why do we have to learn all this military stuff? Why do we have to march around with fake guns and wear these uniforms? I don't understand. And the thing he said to me was, Sam, I don't understand what you're talking about. You, you know, when, when you grow up, you're going to be a writer. At the time, I thought I wanted to be a writer when I grew up. He said, you're going to be a writer when you grow up. You're going to have to know about competition. And when you march around outside with a gun, that's teaching you competition. And then he had to go off to a, another class or a lecture or do drugs in the men's room or I don't know what. And, he, uh, he left me in his room. I usually stayed in his room a lot because he knew that I would get beaten up if I walked around the halls. And I just sat there thinking about it, about the fact that I was going to have to grow up in a world where the adults want you to march around with guns and learn about competition. And I just sat there thinking about it and crying. And eventually, I started to feel the kind of frustration that I feel now, the same frustration I felt that day when I looked out the window and saw all my brothers marching in big circles over and over again in the parking lot. And that's what this song is about. It's called By the Throat.
This is a song that we have uh, recorded in. It's called This Trash Should Have Been Free. Thank you. That, that huge sound, kind of like an airplane, only much louder, must be uh, the, uh, the mic. So could you please turn the mic down uh, in the monitor, I guess, a lot. Turn the keyboards way up, though. Yeah, this is called uh, Body Heat Counts.
Francis. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Now, the uh, threat is life and limb for royalties. So that's what this song is about. Thanks once again, you've been a wonderful audience. Good night. <laughs> We're from uh, New Jersey. Yeah. There's a country to the south of the United States called Peru. Uh, in that country, there is a group called Sendero Luminoso, a shining path. They, uh, they're a revolutionary group, left wing, very left wing apparently. Their whole program is to kill anybody who disagrees with them, burn down schools, trash factories, kill peasants. I guess in a way, that's kind of punk rock, I don't know. Most Americans don't know about the Shining Path. They don't know that the Shining Path exists because they don't know that Peru exists. If you ask them, hey, where's Peru? They go, what? That's kind of, that kind of sums up just about everything you would ever want to know about the United States. It's a beautiful place. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.
recorde disso. John, John, don't do it. Well, since John is being selfish and wants to hog all the oxygen outside for himself, uh, we we've toured the United States, gone, uh, drove, driven, pardon me, back and forth across the U.S. Uh, three times now. We've gone through uh, two states in the U.S. One called Utah and one called Louisiana. No. Uh, New Orleans, Mardi Gras, all that stuff. In both these states, the local government is trying to outlaw abortion. Uh, there's lots of men on uh, in the local government in Utah, in Louisiana. They think uh, all women are murderers if they have an abortion and they want to jail the doctor, sometimes the woman as well, if she has one. I have a little sister who is five years old right now, and uh, I say this pretty much every time we play because it's something I feel pretty strongly about. I don't exactly think that what I say captures it, but I don't want her to grow up in the kind of America that my relatives grew up in. In 1974, when I was five, abortion was legalized. Before that, if you were a woman and you got pregnant, if you were raped, or if your father raped you, or whatever, you were out of luck. And uh, a lot of women decided that they would go to back alley abortions. A lot of them bled to death because of that. I think that these conservatives, the right-wing people in the U.S. will succeed. I think that abortion will be uh, illegal in many states within the next couple of years. But I want to fight these people as much as possible. I don't want women in the U.S. or women anywhere to be breeding machines. I don't want them to be stuck in the kitchen. And there are things that can be done to fight this. And it takes a lot of work. And it's not going to happen quickly. That's what this song is about.
we have uh, we have uh, dresses and corsets for sale out there, underwear too. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 